Hey guys, we're back in the studio. Today, we thought we'd revisit some of the great stories that have been shared by some of our guests over the last little while. We hope you like it. My first love is, is, is music. Uh, I wanted to be a, a lead, I, w I was a lead singer of a metal band in high school, and I, uh, uh, I realized I didn't have the vocal chops for it, but I had the business acumen for it. And I, so I always tell people, I just fired the band and stayed on stage. <laughs> Much better to split it one way than five. But what I did, I started managing bands. So I, I cut my chops and my marketing teeth um, you know, at, at Lee's Palace and the Horseshoe and the Rivoli and the Opera House and El Macombo and all these places where the hardest, I think the best way to cut your teeth in marketing is literally to have no budget and no awareness and see what you can do. I think it's really hard and people would, people sometimes come up to me now because I haven't had my marketing agency for a decade and they're like, well, yeah, but you're not doing it. And I'm like, well, find an unknown band and make them known yeah. with no budget and make it 20 something years ago, no social media, no anything like that. We started doing email lists and we used to be at the door where people would show up to the show on a Tuesday night at Lee's Palace and I'm nervous. And instead of getting the $4, for the cover charge, which we got two dollars of, mm -hmm. we would waive that if they gave us their email address, if they had an email address. Back then, it wasn't a, a thing; it was optional, and we you know, companies would have five corporate email addresses: sales at company, marketing at company. This is this is in 90, 96, 97, 98, and uh, and we realized building this list was more important than than just getting two bucks or getting people to a show. We started doing a street team. We did all these things. So actually the book on marketing, the, it, it could have been called, called What I Learned from Lee's Palace. <laughs> it really was. It's, it was the backbone of everything. So I took the training and the speaking and then the sales type of stuff. And that was, we, we started doing packaging training on sale, but in a consultative selling way. And it was really cool the way we were setting up and learned a lot with that. And the marketing of bands all came together for what turned out to be uh, unmarketing.